Okay, so this is gonna be probably So I'm a mile in. <laughs> I had some difficulties figuring this out. I don't think I fixed it, but what are you gonna do? And we're walking through the farm complex now. So was to hike in and then go across. We'll see how long this takes me. Definitely moving slower than I wanted because of the way this is sitting, but I'm also out of breath and might be moving faster than I thought I was. Okay, so I'm halfway, pretty much. Um, I actually thought I hadn't gone this far. I think I'm <laughs> keeping a better pace than I thought, which uh, tends to always happen, which is also probably why I'm completely um, pooped. But um, I'd rather be a little pooped uh, <laughs> than not get there. <laughs> um, you know, right now we are uh, at this little bridge. Um, so I, you know, I was the intern, uh, at Santononi, uh, many years ago. Uh, I can't remember if it was, uh, 2005 or six. Um, so I used to give tours of, you know, this whole area and, you know, and now I'm like, mm, I can't remember what this bridge is all about. It's a bridge. Um, but, um. Uh, you know, this whole place was built by the um, Prine family from Albany um, a long time ago <laughs> in the 1800s, um, late 1800s, uh, when, you know, many of the rich um, uh, and, and wealthier folks in um, New York and surrounding areas uh, came to get away from uh, city life. They came up to the Adirondacks and um, Santononi is one of the great camps. Okay, and we have reached, we, <laughs> I have reached the uh, next set of bridges. There's two here. Um, reached what used to be, um, obviously a very long time ago, um, where all the caretakers buildings were here. And, um, you can also access the lake here. So rather than going, um, just a little ways in, um, hiking in more, I'm just going to get on the water here and then head out to the lean-to. Um, it's about just after four o'clock now, so hopefully I can get there uh, fairly soon and get my tent set up and we'll be good. Well, this is not pretty, but we'll see if it works. Okay, on the water. I'm gonna head to the lean-to that is 
uh, hopefully over that way. <laughs> now I, I think I have a sense of where it is and I um, can see it on my map so I can orient myself to that. Um, you can, I don't know if you can see the footbridge behind me. Um, and then I'll be coming up around the camp, but right now I'm going to focus on getting to lean to, uh, and getting things set up before dark. It was cold last night, um, and it's still cold. I was warm in my bag, but, um, you know, like after six, it was so cold that like you couldn't do anything. Like I didn't even want to read. Um, I just wanted to stay in my bag, which was, which was totally warm enough, but you know, that was a long stretch of time to just sort of not do anything. Um, I think it's going to be colder tonight, um, and the weather might be a little iffy tomorrow. I'm not, I, I think, um, so I've decided, um, I'm going to go back today, which is fine. Um, this morning has been perfect. And <laughs> when you have a perfect morning, you kind of don't want to, if you have the chance, you can kind of just be like, okay, I'll take that. Um, so, um, just have remnants of a little fire here um, that I had going for a while. Um, change in plans, but I think I'm happy either way. Um, so. I'm on the water, packed up my campsite, and I'm taking a different way um, back because um, I didn't realize this last night, but part of the way I went uh, brought me through some really marshy areas. It wasn't impossible, but I was doing a lot of scooting and I'd like to avoid that this time. Um, I thought I was making a shorter trip yesterday. There's a, a number of islands uh, and little uh, peninsula sort of things in this lake, so I was just trying to figure out like what what way made the most sense last night um and so we'll try this one so as i'm kind of coming up um, more along the shore here on the, I guess, southern end. Um, I don't know if you can see that too well from here, but you can see some of the structures of the camp out there. Um, you might be able to see the boathouse, um, and then set back is the main camp, and then there's other structures back here. So I'm back to where I put in yesterday and um, there's the view and I'm just trying to figure out how I did this yesterday because it's super rocky right here and there's rocks underneath and I'm just trying to figure out where I got myself in here. Okay so I wasn't liking that other spot for getting back out so I found one a little further down. I think it might lead to one of the campsites. Uh, definitely glad I'm not really doing the GoPro today because you just missed a pretty funny looking roll out of the boat onto the leaves. But I'm out, I'm dry, and we'll get this stuff out. See ya, Newcomb Lake. realized yesterday, I don't know why I didn't realize this, I think I was carrying my boat wrong and that's why I was having such difficulty. It had the bow up ahead of me 
um, and really I want the stern so that the seat can sit um, better on the back. I think I am right. Uh, that's, I believe, how I tested it before. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of it yesterday. Uh, I guess I just wanted to make my life hard yesterday. So. my plan but I think it works and I can see in front of me which is fine so are catching it. Okay, well. Seems to be working. Definitely better um, <laughs> quality of life than yesterday. So we'll go with it. Oh, this is probably one of the worst diabetes I've ever had. <laughs> oh. But at least I'm on the way out now and it's been nice weather. So I'm just about halfway back to my car. Um, another uh, bridge is gonna be coming up soon. I'm gonna stop there and take a breather. Uh, definitely much easier. It's mostly downhill at this point, um, but definitely gonna take a rest. Think about the coffee. I'm gonna get it at Stewart's on the way back. Also thinking. This has been a hard trip, but um, I can't uh, help but admit that uh, the, um, <laughs> the lady that just went by on her bike who said, you're a beast, um, the guy who walked by and said, that's impressive, and the guy who said, 
you're a real badass, um, have definitely helped, helped keep me going and make this worth it. Um, <laughs> it kind of makes me laugh. Um, but, you know, knowing where I was a couple months ago and, you know, feeling awful in a hospital bed <laughs> and then, you know, slowly um, feeling better as hard as this has been, um, you know, it feels good that I can do this. I mean, I'm not even in the best shape right now. Um, and that's something I'm going to work on, but, um, but the fact that I can carry this pack and this canoe, you know, 10 miles, pretty much paddle and, you know, just makes me happy. So <laughs> I appreciate hearing, you know, it's one nice thing about not being completely alone on these things is somebody <laughs> is there to watch you be a badass. So, um, definitely helps. So nice to hear. Literally like the longest 0.2 miles <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's right up there. Oh, there we are. There's some horse poop. Trail register. Oh my goodness. Sign out into my car. Just literally, I can see it over there. I'm at my car. <laughs> Whew. Oh goodness, I am glad to see my car. <laughs> Whew. So, it takes some time to pack up. I just like threw my boat against my car. <laughs> take some time to pack up, get my coffee, and then head back. <sighs> One of those things. Glad I did it when it's over. <laughs> but that part's, I was like, what am I doing? So I did it. Yay.